island of Rhodes lies in the east of the Mediterranean Sea, and here, in the town of Columbia, the peninsula of Cape Vagia juts eastwards into the sea. When viewing the headland like this, we are met with this stunning view, seen here from a slightly different angle. In our first view, we see the Cretaceous Age Dolomitic Limestone, the strata quite clear to see in places, and if we look at the surface of the distant cliff faces, we see a wave cut notch. And if we look at the closer cliff faces, we also see a wave cut notch. These notches matching in height above, way above sea level. From our other angle, we again see the dipping strata and can view the wave cut notch high up into the length of the cliff face above sea level. At the northern tip of the cliff, here, when we study the rock formations there, we see this silhouette. And again, we see the dipping strata with a wave cut notch seen in profile high above the current sea level. Wow! And if we study this silhouetted wave cut notch, we see it matches the wave cut notch that we have already noted has been cut into the lower section of the whole cliff. If we then move 150 metres westward of the profiled notch, we have this view out along the cliff towards the sea. With a closer view, we see the same limestone cliffs in profile, the wave cut notch clear in silhouette. This notch also carved closer to us, allowing us to deduce the length of the wave cut notch here. If we then zoom in on this wave cut notch, we see the wave cut notch is coming towards us. And if we zoom in again, we see the classic smooth curve of the wave cut notch outlined in red. But there are actually two wave cut notches. Returning to our previous view, we see in red the outline curves of the notches linking to display the line of the wave cut notch. But we also see another wave cut notch below that notch. It's parallel to the higher wave cut notch. That's amazing! On looking at our first view, we see the same wave cut notch again and the second wave cut notch below that. On the east side of Cape Vagia, looking southward across the bare limestone, we see one raised fossil wave cut notch and another fossil notch parallel below it. These are also visible as we look further along the coast. And when we look at the far headland, here, we see a fossil wave cut platform with a fossil sea stack as well. These all matching in height with the raised wave cut notches. And above all of these here, an even older wave cut platform of unknown age. But how did these wave cut notches form like this? The island of Rhodes lies in the eastern Mediterranean Sea, here, which when studied in more detail, we see lies to the northwest of a submarine trench, this marking where the African plate to the southeast meets the Aegean Sea plate to the northwest, these plates colliding, and when this happens we get friction and forces, which build up over time and when released cause earthquakes. These earthquakes can cause the land to move upwards, downwards or side to side, moving the rocks above and below the surface of the planet. This view of the fossil stack we studied, simplified to this, with the fossil wave cuts notch over two metres above sea level, could have been formed when sea levels were once higher, like this. But there have not been any such higher sea levels in the recent past, so this method of formation can be ruled out. An alternative theory as to how the fossil sea stack and wave cut notch are now way above sea level is that a fair time ago, scientists think maybe during the Holocene, up to 10,000 years ago, is that the land was lower than it is at the present day, like this. This old shoreline and wave cut notch moved upwards as the land rose upwards as two. But our cross-section photo shows at least two wave cut notches, which indicates that the once sunken land moved upwards, and then moved upwards again, until the land and sea interplay as they do at the current day. This latter theory of rising land masses is also supported with the coastal features on the east of Cape Vagia, with not just one, but two fossil wave cut notches, all traceable along the coastline. These fossil wave cut notches are all indicators of paleoseismic events that have led to the crust moving as the plates collide. And if we return to this view, was this even older ancient wave cut platform formed in the same way, by crust being moved upwards as the plates collide? this happening over geological time? Or was the whole area uplifted during periodic seismic events? Because if we look at the lower cliff faces here, 
Are there more than two fossil wave cut notches? We need to return to investigate further. Please do watch our other videos all about earthquakes and faulting. Please subscribe to my channel. Bye!